Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now in today's episode, I do want to go over people experiencing crashes or freezes within Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now I have been experiencing a ton of problems, especially with the most recent uh, patches that have come out. And I just want to go over literally everything that I possibly can in order to help you guys fix if you guys are having any type of crash desktop or any type of not notifications of why your Microsoft Flight Simulator might be crashing or freezing. Now, if you guys do a lot of these changes, especially to the settings in the system portion of it, you guys might solve a lot of problems to other games. However, I'm just going to clearly say this out loud that I've, I have never experienced as many problems that I have with crashes to desktop or just crashes in a game than I have had with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I played hundreds of games. I play on... Uh, PlayStation 4, I play on Xbox, I play computer, I play literally everywhere that you guys could probably think of. And never have I experienced this many problems. I have spent uh, many, many days and many, many hours going over everything. And I'm sure that one of these fixes could help you guys in the long term. Uh, we're going to be looking at system settings. We're going to be looking at the NVIDIA control panel. We're going to be looking at the GeForce experience. We're also going to be looking at the simulator itself. So we're going to dive into a lot of different things. So I hope that you guys will find some of this information very helpful. And I hope that one of these fixes will solve some of your guys' issues. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that I recommend that you guys do is anytime that there is an update to Microsoft Flight Simulator, you guys completely copy your, your community folder over to another portion on your hard drive or to another drive in general. Because when uh, this actually happened for me is when you actually loaded up Microsoft Flight Simulator for the very first time after that, uh, for me personally, when we went from just the pre or from the release to patch number two, I didn't get any of the improvements that I was supposed to. So that's the first thing that we're going to talk about. The first thing that we're going to talk about is completely uninstalling and reinstalling your game. Yes, I know that this will take hours upon hours to do this. It took me about three hours to get mine to completely be uninstalled and to be completely updated. And this was through patch number two. Then when patch number three came out for me, or 1.9.3, then uh, I experienced a lot of the crashes, and I was not experiencing these in patch number two. So I don't know what exactly changed, but these, these are all the steps that I have gone through, and even with the release that I've gone through. So uninstall, reinstall your game, should help with some of those weird issues, just in case you guys had mods in your community folder, or even add-on aircraft for liveries or anything like that or having maybe the fly-by-wire a320 neo um, enhanced default plane whatever you have in that community folder could be affecting it if you guys have done an update after you had updated the game for a more current patch okay so the other thing that you're going to want to do is also make sure that your window system is up to date now uh, i'm going to specifically go into the settings here i'm going to load it up on here on my other screen and let's see if i can find it there we go uh so there is this update right here so on the screen you guys can see that this is the most current update now i will let you guys know that this one specifically is causing a lot of updates and that's why i have not updated it um before um, this version, feature update version to 2004, this does cause some problems. That's one of the things that I have not done. So you guys can actually, you guys could change your, your settings to go revert back to another one. You guys will have to check out other videos for that specifically. But there is always this as an option. If nothing else fails, you might want to go ahead and revert back to a previous, um, to a previous build. So there's that. All right, so now that we actually have that out of the way, I wanna load up the next one, and that is actually gonna be with the gaming portion of uh, the settings itself. Now, game bar, I would definitely make sure that this is off because this will take up 
some of the space in the background, whether it's RAM or your GPU usage or even your CPU, CPU usage. So just make sure that that's off. I would make sure that your capture is off so it's not recording anything in the background and also make sure that your game mode is off. These will also, by having these off as well, will actually improve your FPS in the long run but we're gonna be talking about that a little bit more in uh, later in this episode. All right, so that's pretty much it for the main settings. Now, the other thing that I actually wanna go into is talking a little bit about finding some of your actual, your actual download, so your actual EXE file for your flight simulator. Here's mine. If you guys know exactly where it's at, then you guys can go right to it and then just basically right click it on it and go to properties. If you don't know where it's at, basically select whatever drive that you believe that you installed it to and then go ahead and just do a search for flight simulator.exe and you should be able to get it. Now, if you don't know exactly where it's at, this is another way to go ahead and do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on it and then we're gonna go down into properties. All right, so you got this that came up here. Um, I would go into compatibility and there's two things that I would specifically do here. I would disable full screen optimizations and I would also run as the program administrator. That way you have a little bit less problems. Now I know that there are some people that are saying not to check this. However, this I always run my uh, flight simulator in, in uh, administrator because I seem to have less problems with it than normal. Now, if you aren't experiencing this as running as an administrator or as not running it as administrator, then you don't necessarily need to do this. This is just an option as another step if you guys are are not running it as administrator and you still are having issues with crashing and freezing. You can go into the uh, DPI scaling and you can make sure that this is overridden here and specifically say the application and then go ahead and click on okay and then go ahead and click on apply now i've already have done all these so at that point in time you don't really need to do anything else all right so there is that so the next one on the list is actually going to be looking at uh the nvidia geforce experience now i'm sure that amd has something like this but what you're going to want to make sure to do is make sure that all of your drivers are up to date now i know that my my computer can handle this game I got 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, this specific monitor is a 1080, but I have a 4K monitor that I actually play on. So I'm not recording this on the 4K monitor. Uh, I'm using the 9900K, the 9900K. Um, so I have the brand new driver version. And unfortunately I do want to upgrade my, my GPU. Um, I just haven't been able to do that as of right now because of limitations with being able to buy the 3080 or the 3090. So there is always that. Uh, but when you guys actually go in here, you guys will actually be able to uh, click on the drivers and actually be able to update them right through here. And that's what you're gonna wanna do. Uh, you can actually download all of them and then you can check for updates here. And it actually says you have the latest GeForce game driver installed. AMD should have the exact same thing or something very similar. Unfortunately, I don't use AMD or don't have AMD, so I can't specifically go through all those options with you guys, but um, make sure that you check out other videos um, re kind of revolving around the AMD. All right, so the next thing kind of still is involving the NVIDIA portion of it. This is the control panel. When you guys first launch this, you guys can actually literally just type it on your search bar in the uh, at the start menu, just type in the video control panel. It'll be one of the options that actually comes up. You're gonna wanna go down into manage 3D settings. And then you have two options. You have global and you have program. Now, I would suggest that you go into program settings because we're gonna specifically be looking at max, uh, max frame rate um, for here. So what you're gonna wanna do is go into the application. I have my Microsoft Flight Simulator already pulled up and you're gonna actually gonna to wanna to go down and limit your max frame rate at 30 FPS, 60 at the absolute most. I will let you guys know that when I was hitting higher peaks in some of my frame rates, that's when I was actually experiencing the freezing and stuttering a lot more than with the floor with the lower frame rates. It's, this just seems to be a lot more stable. Uh, so I definitely recommend that. You can either do the 30 or you can actually go ahead and choose the 60 and you can choose literally between whatever you want in here or you can turn it off. 
Uh, the global setting, if you do it under the global setting, this will limit all of your games that you play. So I recommend that you only do this for the Microsoft Flight Simulator specifically. Now there's a lot of other things that you guys can actually do and we can actually take a look back at the GeForce uh, experience here. And if you actually go into Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, here is an op opportunity to actually um, optimize all of your things. Now, obviously it wants me to change it over to 1080, but that's also because I'm on the 1080 screen. If I were to put this on my 4K monitor, then it would that would change things up a little bit. Um, but as you can see, it has a lot of different things picked and then you can actually change like what you're, what you want your things to be And anything in green is saying that your game isn't optimized and I don't care about it being in 1080. It looks like crap on my 4k monitor. So just make sure that you guys change this to whatever monitor specifically you're going to be using and playing your Microsoft flight simulator on. All right, so let's go ahead and close out of that one and that one. And then the last thing that we want to do is actually load into Microsoft Flight Simulator directly. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So here we go. We are in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is on the 4K monitor. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Um, so I recommend it as going under options here and then going under general. Uh, this is probably one of the last resorts for me personally. And this is actually what saved a lot of my issues with the crash. Turning VSync on and then your maximum frame rate will be at 60 FPS. Uh, obviously it's limiting it. Um, I will let you know that I had it as off and that's what was causing, I had done everything else. And then as soon as I did this, this is what actually fixed my crashing into desktop permanently. I have not, since I've done this, I have not experienced any other crash to desktop since then. And literally today alone, I've been playing uh, and flying for well over five or six hours just today. And I've experienced none of those issues whatsoever. So, and then obviously make sure that your computer can handle whatever settings you currently have on it. And so if, if Microsoft is recommending that with your computer build that you be at you know, your, your medium or your high or your ultra high or wherever mine's customized because obviously I've been playing with all the different settings as much as I possibly can. And, uh, this actually seems to do pretty well on my computer. So I'm pretty pumped up about that. So if you guys want to take a look at what my settings are, then by all means, I'll just kind of go through this so you guys can see just in case you guys want to optimize your FPS as, a, a, uh, as much as possible. But again, I'm also limiting mine because I'm having issues when I actually peak over 60 FPS. Now that doesn't happen very often, uh, especially when I'm a large around large cities, but uh, or when I'm coming in for landing, I never get anywhere close to even 60 or I hadn't really in the past anyway. I would say my average is right around that 30 FPS anyway. Um, as the game gets a little bit more optimized, even as I update my graphic card in general, then I think that I'll be able to kind of push this up and I might be able to actually turn the V-Sync off. I'm, at least I'm hoping and maybe see what kind of uh, amazing performance that a new graphics card can actually handle. But anyway, that is everything that I possibly can go over. If you guys do have any questions regarding any of the information that we went over in today's episode, by by all means, leave a comment down below because I'd love to be able to help you guys out if I possibly can. Now I'm not gonna be able to solve everybody's problem that everybody has. That's why I tried to cover a lot of the broad topics that I have been basically been playing with over the last few days. Um, and I hope that one of these fixes works for you guys. And if it does, then please leave a comment down below saying that you really appreciated the video because honestly, like commenting, subscribing, that really helps me out. Honestly, you're already here on the video anyway. So please take a couple of seconds and like and subscribe as well because I have a lot of other flights that I do here on the game and we have a lot of other stuff that we do here on the channel. So I would definitely appreciate it if you would check it out. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys... Stay gaming.